Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a festival look. I know that we are nearly at the end of the festival season, but I'm going to V Festival next weekend, so I just wanted to film something that I might be doing with my makeup, and I really feel like doing rose gold. So I have already done my base, I've done foundation concealer, baked under my eyes, and I've filled in my eyebrows. Um, you can just use any concealer, foundation, etc. that works well for you and that you know is going to last all day at a festival. I've just chucked on any old one just so we've got a base and we can get started. I've got these stickers from Primark that I really want to incorporate into this look. Because I wanted to use rose gold, I've grabbed these. They're only 80p a sheet and you've got sort of all sorts of different ones. And I've grabbed these and some blingy ones as well. So I'm going to definitely be using some of the rose gold ones and I might chuck some of the others in as well. For eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go really simple um, because I want to add some metallic either liner or details or pattern on my face. Um, so I just wanna keep it really simple for the eyeshadow. I'm going to use this W7 Delicious Natural and Berry Eye Color Palette. I got this, um, a week or two ago and I have not stopped using it since. I love it. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, and you get a little brush in with it as well, which is brilliant, but I'll just show you. So you've got so many different colors in there. I want to just go warm um, on the eyes because I feel like that'd be perfect with rose gold. I might end up adding a bit of shimmer, but I'm gonna start with matte. I'm going to start with this colour here and I'm just going to take the fluffy brush that they use or give you in the palette. I'm going to put it all over my lid and up into my crease. I'm just going to build that up until I'm happy with the colour. And I'm also going to run it under my eyes. I'm just going to slightly deepen the crease by going in with this sort of burnt orange colour down here. And again, taking the same brush. These are quite pigmented, so I'm only doing one dab and then into the crease. Because I just want to give my eye a little bit of definition. I don't want the colour of that orange to show through too much. I'm going to come back to the eyes a bit later on. I'm now going to use these stickers. I think I'm going to go in with the peace signs. I really like those, so I'm going to try and incorporate those one way or another. I think I'm going to stick them, put them just under my eyes. Can't mess this up because I only get two rose gold ones in this pack. Ooh. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, if I stop dropping it, that would be great. I'm now going to take this Makeup Revolution rose gold, like foiled eyeshadow and a thin angled brush. And I'm just going to connect from my eye down to that sticker that's under my eye. I'm just mixing it with a little bit of fixing spray because it's quite thick. So I'm just gonna water it down so that it is easier to apply and I can get like a neater line as well. I'm now gonna actually just take the same product and do a few lines over the bridge of my nose. Right, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I'll come back to when that's dried and just neaten up the edges. I'm now taking another sort of rose gold eyeshadow. This is by Colourpop and it's in the shade I Heart This and it's more pinky um, and quite silvery as well actually but I just want to put this on the inner on my inner corner just to really brighten that area up. It's 
quite like a chunky shimmer, almost glittery really. So that's, it's gonna like really brighten your inner corner. I'm now going to do a winged eyeliner. I'm quite happy with the eyeshadow like this because I'm gonna be adding like face jewels and stuff to it. So I wanna kind of keep it quite simple on the eyes. Um, but I do want a nice big wings. So I'm gonna go in with this W7 Extra Fine Super Precision Eyeliner Pen. I've never used this before, but I'm going to give it a go. Ooh, it's a felt tip one. These are like my favorite because I'm not the best at winged eyeliner. I get in a right mess and if it's too liquidy, it just, it's a disaster for me. So these I find easiest to use. Some people struggle with them, but I just, you know, it's personal preference. For me, I find them easier. I mean, it's not the easiest to get the smoothest edge because it does drag a little and it's kind of a little bit dry, but I like the shape of it and it's easy to get the actual wing part. I'm now going to take this Bourjois Colour Band. It's an eyeshadow and eyeliner and this is like a shimmery pinky rose gold. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I'm just going to quickly do my skin. I just want to keep it really simple. So I'm going to go in with my Mary, no, Betty Luminizer by The Balm and take a blush brush and just bronze up my cheeks. I want to keep this simple because obviously I'm adding a lot of shimmer, glitter, stickers, all sorts um, to my face that I don't want to take away from that. I'm just doing this just to literally add a little bit of warmth and definition and structure to my face so that I don't look like a potato basically. Also, I am loving like dewy glowy skin at the moment. Um, so I'm not so much into my matte bronzers. This is actually a highlighter for darker skin tones as well but for me, um, I can use it as a bronzer and when you blend it in with like a fluffy brush, it, um, obviously isn't as intense so it just looks like a nice satin shimmery finish on your cheeks and gives more like a, a natural skin kind of glow i love this product it's literally so versatile you can use it for bronzer obviously highlighter if you've got deep darker skin tones or you can use it as eyeshadow it's just i love it i'm now going to just add a bit of mascara i for a festival wouldn't wear um, false lashes because I know full well they would drive me absolutely crazy because you can feel them all day um, it's a long old day a festival and also if they peel off like you don't want to be faffing or worrying about that so this is why I personally just stick with mascara but if you wanted falsies, chuck them on. Just gonna add a bit to my lower lashes as well. I've got to say the mascara I'm using is the NYX Badunkadunk. I really like this mascara. It took me some getting used to because the brush is so humongous. Um, but it is good, it's drying up a little bit now, so I need to get another one, um, or find a new mascara, quite like to try a new one really, I'm just going to layer it up slightly, 
because I'm not wearing falsies. Obviously I do have a wing, so I want my lashes to be somewhat bold for that. Now for highlighter, I'm using Colourpop in the shade Wisp. This is quite a deep highlighter, not too dissimilar from my skin tone. I'm just using this because I want it to look glowy um, and not too stark. Again, just to make sure that I don't take away from the fact that I've got stickers, I'm going to have bling and all sorts on my face. I'm just taking this tapered eyeshadow brush. This is my Morphe M330. This is my new favourite brush to apply highlighter. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. And my cupid's bow. I'm going to apply some to the tip of my nose as well. But I'm going to use my finger because when I use a brush, it tends to separate the products on my nose, weirdly. Just going to put a little bit above the arch of my brows as well and a tiny bit in the centre of my forehead. Now for the fun bit, I'm going to take these gems that I got from Primark. Again, these were 80p and I'm just going to put gems along the arch or around, I can't talk today. I'm going to put the gems along the shape of my brow. This could be fiddly and take me some time. I would actually probably suggest using tweezers or something to make this a bit easier. It's not too difficult, but you just got to be a bit patient. God, this is fun. I wish I could have my makeup like this every day. Oh my God. You definitely need the patience of a saint for this. <gasps> awesome tweezers, but I like to make things difficult for myself. Okay, you definitely need patience for that, but I think it is so worth the result. This is honestly so much fun, and it's so easy, such an easy way to make it look like proper festival. Um, and the fact that they're only ATP, and I've still got these gems left, so you could put them like one on your lip, you could do put them along your cheekbone, along your wing liner, one on your inner corner, anything like that. Ooh, inner corner a good shout and just be super careful not to actually get them in your eye again this is fiddly but I feel like it just ties the look together adds an extra bit of sparkle if you do do that please be careful and don't poke yourself in the eye or get that too near to your eye I have left a little gap just to be safe well do you know I feel like Regina George in Mean Girls I swear she does this when she goes to that Halloween party dressed as a bunny so I am really happy with this look so far now I'm just going to do the lips I'm actually going to show you two lip options the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pinky nude Gerard Cosmetics lipstick this is in the shade Buttercup I'm just going to take some of these stickers, one of these lines, and just have it down my lip, like, the, you know, the typical festival line. So this is option one. And then the final lip option is obviously the metallic liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution in the shade We Rule. This is like a really coppery rose gold. And this is the other lip option. Obviously gloss is less practical because it's more likely to rub off. Oh, 
because it's more likely to rub off and smudge throughout the day a matte lipstick would be a lot easier but I just wanted to show you the options basically zhuzh the hair this is the completed look I'm definitely doing the gems around my eyebrows for V next weekend. I love this. I've seen so many people doing it. I've never done it before myself, but I actually really love that look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. I have been a bit slack with my videos lately. I've missed a few weeks because I've had exams and have been really busy at work and doing overtime and stuff. So I haven't been able to do my one a week upload, but I am going to try and get back to doing one a week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And I will see you in my next one.